High School Baseball this afternoon. Game one of a double header between Marquette and Escanaba. We're going to start in the bottom of the first inning. Runners on the corners. One out, Jay Peterson with the sack fly to left center. That's going to score a run, and Marquette's going to take the early 1-0 lead. Top of the third, one out, runners on the corners for the Eskimos, Tyler Lawson. He's going to smack a sacrifice fly to center. Jake Anderson will tag from third. There's going to be a play at home. Anderson, not the best slide, but it's going to work, and he's safe. We're tied at one. Moving on to the bottom of the third inning, tied at one with one out, runners on the corners. Peterson back at the plate. He's going to ground the ball at the middle. He's going to be out at first, but Peter Vandevon will tag from third and score to put Marquette up two to one. Escanaba would take the lead late in this one and hold on to win 4-3. Jake Peterson drove in all three runs for Escanaba. Game two of their doubleheader also went to the Eskimos. 7-5, Tyler Lawson was 3-4 for four with two RBIs. Norway was able to sweep Bark River Harris today. 2-1 to one in game one and 12-2 in game two. How about the Nagani Miners? They swept Houghton today. 8-1 to one in game one and 14-2 in game two. In high school boys tennis, the Miners dominate their... Or their season continues to be a good one. They topped Marquette 8-2, and they move to a perfect 12-0 on the year. Let's end with some track and field. The Mid-Pen Conference meet on the boys' side. Gladstone finishes number one, Westwood number two, followed by Ishpeming, Iron Mountain, and Manistique. And on the girls' side, Nagani finishes in first, Westwood number two. Marquette and Gladstone tied for third, and Ishpeming rounds out the top five.